Hello everybody, my name is Dusty and we are still hanging out playing Nintendo. Today I thought I would play Millipede. Planning on doing a, a video where I talk about Millipede, uh, Joust, and Defender 2, um, or what I like to call Atari games on Nintendo. I thought about doing a more expansive Atari games on Nintendo video, uh, but I don't know if I'm going to do that right now. I think I'm just going to do uh, those three because I had this one when I was growing up. This is the first NES game I ever got besides uh, Mario Duck Hunt. And it came with a poster, and on the poster it had those two other games. Uh, so I always wanted Joust and Defender 2, and I, I, never, I never got them when I was a kid. I've got Joust right now. I don't have Defender 2. I need to pick that one up. Uh, but uh, when I had gotten my NES, I remember being taken to the store there, and my mom asked me what game I wanted to get besides what came with it. And I had said Centipede. And the guy behind the counter said Centipede's not out for Nintendo. And I can remember thinking, well, I don't really want a Nintendo, then I'd rather have um, ColecoVision. At the time, ColecoVision is all I had played. Um, so... I played Donkey Kong and uh, Mousetrap at my cousin's house on the Click Division they had on a black and white television. Ah, oh. wasn't watching what I was doing. Anyway, talking. <laughs> and uh, I played those games on a black and white television, and I remember playing Centipede in the arcade quite a bit. I thought the trackball was was super cool. Uh, I really wasn't very good at using the trackball, but I, I loved the game anyway. I played it every time I saw it. So. That's what I wanted the, the most uh, for my for my Nintendo. Um, and then the guy thought, oh, well, you could get Centipede. I mean, excuse me, you could get Millipede. And I thought, well, that sounds like off-brand Centipede. I don't know if I want that. I was kind of a picky kid. I was, I was raised uh, at that point kind of spoiled, I'll admit it. Um, so, uh, I was just like, well, everything you're saying just doesn't sound like Centipede, and I want Centipede. But he showed me the box, and the box, I can remember falling in love with the box. I thought it looked so cool. Uh, I think one of the things I liked about the arcade game of Centipede is that Centipede looked really mean. Um, and I remember seeing this, and I thought the Millipede looked a little more docile. <laughs> Not near as mean as that uh, sort of space age Centipede on the arcade machine. Um, but the, the warrior on the front with the bow and arrow, that I thought was cool. And the giant mushrooms and everything. They made that really cool, so I was like, okay, I'll, I can handle that. So that's what I got. Took that home. I can remember playing Mario a little bit. But when I was young, I couldn't really get past um, the first world. Um, I was terrible at Super Mario Bros. when I was a kid um, at first. Uh, it took me a lot of playing to get to where I could... Oh, man. That's terrible. I should not have died there. Anyway... Uh, I had I watched my cousins play, and I, I got to where I could do the warp zones because I watched what they did. Um, but, I mean, for the most part, I played Millipede because I just was not good at um, Super Mario Brothers that, that yet. I was still really used to this style of game, the arcade style games. So I played this for, I would play this for really a uh, crazy amount of time, considering what it is. I mean, it's just, I can't beat it or anything. Uh, not that I really had much of a concept of beating games at the time I didn't. To me, when you made uh, Donkey Kong fall on his head on Donkey Kong, that was beating the game. So, um, yeah, I'll just play this. Uh, absolutely. Oh, man, it got crazy there. I do not feel bad about that death. <laughs> that was a good death. But uh, I just really loved um, games like this where you shot bugs. Oh, man. I probably could have avoided that. I was watching spiders. Try not to sit here and be quiet, but I'm going to die again. Okay. I'll try to start here. Okay. Anyway. Aw, <laughs> oh, see? See? Just when I started to say something, I died again. Now, that really was my fault. I should not have died there. That was a really stupid risk, but it worked. <laughs> I'm happy with that. So if you guys, uh, anybody watched my one of my Jaws uh, videos, I talk about how I don't like to take unnecessary risks in games. But if you're paying attention to what I'm doing here, I'm, I'm taking risks left and right because, to me, that's what this kind of game is about. 
I mean, it's all about uh, trying to get as many points as you can and, and nearly dying doing it. Uh, so I, I do a lot of uh, just daredevil type of play. I haven't played this in a while either. I actually played this a couple of rounds before I started uh, recording it. I was recording it the whole time, but it was just so bad that I, I just was like, oh, I don't think I'm going to put this on the channel. Uh, so I, I feel a lot more confident now, so I went ahead and started recording. Not sure how I feel about that death there, but uh, it happens. Eventually, I'm going to start trying to stream where I can, you know, do my commentary and my play at the same time instead of um, uploading one without the commentary and then uploading one that has the commentary still in it. I started doing that because I know there's certain channels that I'll go to watch and I really don't like listening to the commentary just because of the person talking. Just sounds obnoxious, and I'm sure people out there think I'm obnoxious, but uh, I wanted people to have the option. If you like watching me play, if you think that uh, the way I play feels, uh, oh man, uh, if you, if, I, I kind of want the channel to be about being able to be hanging out with somebody, now that was, I should not have died there. Alright, I'm going to give one more, let's, let's play again. Okay, anyway, one of the, oh, come on, <laughs> I'm just going to reset that, that was terrible, no, alright, let's go again, come on, we'll do better this time, I'm going to calm down for a second, get, two. get a little frustrated with that one, that's kind of how my playthroughs were going before I said I'll put this on YouTube. At this rate, I'm kind of wondering if I'm actually going to put this on YouTube. <laughs> if you're hearing this, I did. <laughs> anyway, um, one of the things about uh, about this uh, this channel that I want, uh, I really don't want to edit videos like this. Um, I try to play a few rounds before I'll actually, um, you know, keep the recording that I'm doing and, and keep the commentary that I'm doing. Oh, come on! I, I was actually thinking he would stay up there. <laughs> the spiders kill me a lot. They just, they just always have. Um, but uh, what I was saying is uh, the reason I call the channel Hanging Out is I used to hang out with friends and play video games. and uh, I don't really get to do that anymore. And one of the things that I like about the channels that, that I, I used to watch or that I still watch is those types of, um, of streaming uh, shows or uh, videos where they're, it just feels like you're hanging out with somebody who's playing games. You're not watching somebody play who's a pro. Uh, you're not really watching a tool-assisted speedrun or anything like that. So I don't want these videos to be real clean. Uh, I'm going to kind of leave them dirty. So that, that middle part where I die, if I do better here, I'll just keep that in like that. Uh, because it shows what I consider a real gaming experience. Like sometimes you start off and it's so bad so fast you're just like this i'm not gonna let that bad luck define this playthrough or this round of play so i'm just gonna reset it so i feel like that's uh, that's pretty indicative of like that's a metaphor for for being a gamer <laughs> in my opinion so if i do better ooh, that was slick either that or it was luck <laughs> So I do this thing when I'm playing this, if you notice, it's kind of like a, an X motion or a figure eight motion. Uh, and that's me trying my best to control it like I would if I had the trackball. Because I used to do that all the time with the trackball. Um, it was like the only trick I was good at uh, when I would play centipede. So I try to do that on here. What's that thing over there? Oh, please don't mess up. Okay. Now it's a mushroom. All right. Weird. Anybody that's watching this that grew up with the NES, anytime you saw something like that, you thought, any minute now, my game... Ah, oh, come on. I don't know why I took myself down in those mushrooms like that. Anytime you'd see a glitch like that, you would think, ah, oh, it, it, my game's about to freeze up. Uh, but you played through it. Uh, I think uh, I think James Roll did a video once uh, about the glitch where he 
you showed that you would try to play through the glitches anyway. We, I don't know anybody that didn't do that. Like, I know I did that. Uh, because the NES got to the point where we were all blowing in the cartridges. Ooh, that was close. Uh, we were all blowing in the cartridges because we seemed like it made it work better, and we were just making our games dirty and the inside of our NES dirty and making it work um, more unreliable as time went on. So you could just kind of graze the NES or maybe pull on the cord a little bit too too hard, and that would mess your game up. It would stop, and you have to take the cartridge out and, and do the whole Nintendo But then I'm like, I'm on an emulator. That glitch should not, should not be. Um, I don't feel bad about that death, by the way. That glitch should not stop our game. So it didn't. At least not yet. It might come back. <laughs> Who knows? I also plan to eventually not be using emulators. I'd like to get a capture card and actually play on my my systems because I have these systems. I have Millipede uh, on my shelf. I don't have my original Millipede, unfortunately. Whenever I was uh, a few years back, I was unemployed and I sold a bunch of my games. I don't regret that to no end. But uh, I've been trying to get them back the way I had them and try to get really nice, clean copies because I really took care of my, my games when I was a kid. I, I've never been one of those kids that, uh, that messed up the stuff he was getting. But I did throw my boxes away. <laughs> and I didn't keep up with my manuals either. So, I guess uh, I'm lying. I take care of things. I would have to kept those things. But nowadays, uh, I get these, and I, the thumbnails for my videos are usually these boxes, but. Oh, man. I'm just going to kill myself there, I guess. Um, the boxes I get now, like the thumbnails, are the boxes that I buy. I like those hard cases. Uh, off the top of my head, I cannot think of the, the site's name. I really apologize for that. Uh, that's where I buy my boxes, and I like those hard cases. And then I'll try to buy the uh, the real manuals to put in there with them. Ah, oh, come on! I shouldn't feel too bad. It's round 18. I mean, that's just gonna happen. Um, I've only bought one reproduction manual, uh, and that was for oddly enough Super Mario Brothers. That manual. When I was just trying to buy the manual on eBay, it was outrageous. I don't, I don't understand why, because I felt like there should be plenty of those in the wild. But uh, I just bought a repro one because I'm not really much of a collector. I just wanted it to look nice for me. So, yeah, eventually I would like to just play my own cartridges uh, for the channel. When I record these, I, I try to make it as close to a, a CRT as possible. Uh, I've got a CRT. Uh, CRT, so I'll probably have to get a analog NT or something like that, but I should have known that spider would come out of there. They always come out of those corners, but I always take the risk to, to go up there and, and try to shoot the millipede. Wow, it's around 24. I apologize if I get quiet, but I mean, it, it, look at the screen. Close. Oh god. Right, I need that. I need to slow down. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's calm for a second. Ah. Oh, I don't feel bad about that. I had a lot of really close shaves there, so it was inevitable. Sorry, I'm not talking, but I, I just want to play. Alright, got my inchworm again, okay. I'll try to talk when it's slowed down if I can. Alright, this is usually a pretty calm section. Alright. Um, so, I plan on playing through, playing some Joust and playing uh, Defender 2. Like I said, I never grew up with those games. I grew up with this one. So I wanted to start with this one. Um, and uh, just to get a playthrough on the channel and to, oh, that speed going up. 
that when that speed restores, it always messes me up, and it also messes me up. Uh, I kind of get used to it, but uh, whenever you shirt, shoot the ladybugs, or whenever you you shoot the the last bit of the millipede, and it's like the it's like the game. Oh, I didn't go up far enough. It's like the game has to load or something. That throws me off, um, and it, it I don't it, I don't think I get killed by it very much, but I can I can definitely feel like it almost gets me several times when I'm playing. Oh, I didn't see that mushroom. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I'll go ahead and try to wrap it up. Join me again. I'll play some more.